Did you know that George Washington was an expert at setting up blade guides? This George Washington. It's only four thousandths of an inch thick. It's the perfect distance to maintain between blade guides and the blade. This is the blade guide assembly. Every bandsaw has two of these. One that's above the table and another one below the table. The one above the table adjusts up and down depending on how thick your workpiece is. The general rule of thumb is to set the upper system about a quarter of an inch above the workpiece. Each system consists of blade guides on either side of the blade and their function is to keep the blade from wobbling back and forth. There's also a thrust bearing that sits behind the blade. On this saw you can remove it and you can see that it's ceramic just like these blade guides. The function of the thrust bearing is to keep the saw blade from moving backwards. So the saw blade is held stable as you're making a cut. The first step in adjusting the blade guide system is to move the blade guides so that they're right behind the back of the gullets in the saw blade. The gullets are the cutouts that carry away the sawdust. So here I'm moving the blade guides to just behind and now I'm going to tighten them in place. All right, now it's time to adjust the blade guides themselves and here's where old George comes in handy. Now actually the easiest way to do this is with two dollar bills because you can put one on each side. But I don't happen to have two dollar bills so I'm going to make do with one. I'm going to fold it around the back of the blade and I'm going to work it up between the guides. This is something that takes a little finesse. Obviously I don't have very much. There we go. Now, now that I've got George here all I'm going to do is gently press these two blade guides against the blade. Not hard, just gently. Evenly so both the top and bottom guide are touching the blade. That's done. Now it's time to adjust the thrust bearing again. And it's the same idea. You just push it until it just barely touches. You can see how George is moving there. You can tell when I'm touching him. There we go. There. Now the blade guides and thrust bearing are positioned perfectly. 